it wasn't quite a 21 gun salute, but the USS America made its arrival known as the newest class of Navy warship pulled into the new San Diego home. This is the fourth ship to carry the name USS America, but from the start that ship was designed to be different. New at 6, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence was invited to fly out to meet the ship upon its arrival and explains why it will be a sea of change for Marines and sailors who sail on it. Shrouded in the morning sun, USS America arrived in San Diego waters after it sailed around South America to get here. The ship may look the same on the outside, but inside it's a different story. We can put more aircraft in the hangar, freeing up space on the deck. Captain Chris Mills, the air boss of USS America. The hangar bay is twice the size of other amphibious ships. The ship is not only new, so is the way it came to San Diego. Having the Marines on board, they started training right away. Some 300 Marines and the MV-22 tilt rotor Osprey rapidly got into deployment mode. An unusual step for a ship not yet commissioned. 50% of the crew and the Marines knew. Uh, however, you would not have been able to tell that. America was designed for the newer, larger MV-22. And in the not too distant future, the F-35 strike fighter, seen here in a flight test. The F-35 coupled with the Osprey means Marines won't have to storm the beach anymore. That's a big difference because this isn't Normandy anymore. You're not sacrificing people to penetrate a hardened area. But that's ahead. For now, it's about saluting its new home. And saluting ships already here. It's about manning the rails as the ship made its way to Naval Base San Diego for the first time. And it's about new dads seeing their sons and daughters for the first time. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Love those homecomings. USS America will be officially commissioned next month in San Francisco.